I love near enough all things military. As a child, I'd always be playing with sets of toy soldiers, coming up with different scenarios and situations each time a battle took place. When at school, I always looked forward to the annual war museum trip, and at night, I spent countless hours when I shouldn't have been watching war documentaries on what used to be the military channel. But in 2008, my mum decided to give me a Sony Vio laptop as a birthday present. The intention was that it would be used primarily for homework, but I had a different plan. Up until that point in time, I was playing military shooters such as Call of Duty 3, Medal of Honor Allied Assault, and so on. But I always wanted something more, something realistic. And this is when an old GameFAQs thread pointed me towards the military simulation genre and my eventual introduction to Operation Flashpoint. When watching various trailers for Operation Flashpoint, I was amazed because it was so anti Call of Duty and that's exactly what I wanted at the time. I didn't want to be a super soldier gunning down mobs of enemies. I got bored of that stuff quick and all of this was so mind blowing at the time. I thought to myself, how on earth did I miss this game? But then again, it makes sense. I was still a console gamer back then and only with my laptop was I actually able to find out about all these cool new games I never heard about. Prior to playing Operation Flashpoint, all I knew were linear levels and on-rail shooters. There was never any tension from those games, never any opportunities to really learn. But then it happened. I eventually got myself a copy of Operation Flashpoint, and looking back on my experience with the game, it's kind of amazing. Well, to me it is anyways, because it changed the way I played games. I still remember my first few hours of the game. Those moments were filled with me fearing every single firefight I got myself into, and a lot of dying too. It was a harsh introduction to a type of game that in the end, I would learn to love. Now, I have a soft spot for military-based story campaigns. Not so much the recent stuff you'll find in the Call of Duties of today, but more grounded stories. Operation Flashpoint offered that to me and more with interesting characters and military lingo. Though the actual story takes place in a not so hard to believe alternate reality in which a conflict arises between NATO forces and the Soviet Union, with the backdrop being the Cold War. There were three campaigns on offer in the version of the game I had as a kid, two of which were expansions called Red Hammer and Resistance. The first campaign sees you take control of four very different characters, ranging from a frontline soldier to a tank commander, a pilot, and eventually a retired special forces officer. All super fun stuff, and throughout the difficult campaign, and I mean very difficult, you're not really left in the dark though, because the game actually introduces you to the new mechanics, weapons, and gear as the mission goes on. You start to build up your confidence and take more control and responsibility of certain aspects during the gameplay. And I think that's what these games are really about, to be honest. You start off slow and small as a soldier, and then both the character you play as and yourself gains experience through the missions and situations you find yourself in. But not the Call of Duty kind of experience, we don't want any of that nonsense. This game just makes you feel so fragile, and not a lot of shooters do that these days. So many of them are bombastic blockbuster fun, and I love that stuff as much as the next guy, but sometimes I want to feel small in games and not be the hero. Even better than the campaign was the mission editor, which is just stupid amounts of fun. I can't tell you guys how many times I've made 20v20 tank battles, sneaking missions, and all the other nonsense that you can do with the mission editor editor. It's actually surprisingly functional even today. It's so easy to jump right in and start messing around. Features such as the mission editor what made Operation Flashpoint stick around with me for so long because I couldn't really play games online due to my internet connection, but here's this game that can near enough run on a toaster and right at your fingertips, you have the potential to create an entire campaign worth of content. It's just absolutely amazing. As well as that, the game has a fantastic modding community. Or had a fantastic modern community. Whichever one is true, there are still tons of content out there that you can download from new missions, weapons, zombie mods, and all sorts. But overall, that feeling of helplessness and fragility regarding the character you control has stuck with me for years, and not a lot of games have come close to replicating that. Though about a year after I played this, a sequel was released, and I got my hands on it, and well, Ugh, that's something different. Perhaps I'll talk about that game in another video if you guys are interested. Hey viewers, I hope you enjoyed my Operation Flashpoint mini retrospective. And if you're looking for more content from myself, then make sure to click on the other video box somewhere that way. I hope, I hope I'm pointing the right direction. I don't know. Now, I need to fill this 20 second time slot, so I'm not really going to say anything.